Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my channel, Kick It With Phil, and I'd love for you to like, share, and subscribe so you can get that notification bell. What's up? We're kicking it again, and I got a really, really good friend with me. We go way, way back, and um, I just, I, I gotta just introduce you to her. But I just want to just say she's just so special to me. Her family has always embraced me, and um, she's an inspiration. So let me just tell you, she's an actress and model. She's an incredible friend. She is Miss Stella Adouli. Hey! Hello. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so proud of you. Well, you know, your whole family has just been just so to embrace me. I can't even tell all the beautiful, wonderful we people. We are here. We are here. At Bell Time Studios. <laughs> you are right. We're right here. Right. We're right here. Look how far we've come. Look how far we've come. And um, <laughs> just... And been just oh friends over the years. We even, we've gone to Janet Jackson concerts. Yes. Wow, we were almost gonna go to what was the last one that she was gonna do? Um, in Vegas. Oh, no, we were gonna do the Vegas. We were gonna go to Vegas. And then the one that was just canceled at the Staples Center due okay. to the coronavirus, and we were all excited about that. We had great, great seats. We we're gonna be on the floor. We got our tickets early, and uh, yeah. one of our good friends, Paris, it was um, he was gonna go with us to Paris. Yeah, he was gonna go. He's always kicking it with us sometimes too, and <laughs> with those. Little, those it with Phil everywhere. Okay. But I just want to just um just talk with you about just everything that you do. Tell us a little bit even where you're from. Well, I am from Strong Beach. Yes. That's Long Beach. <laughs> you don't know. I was born in New York. Um, my parents are from Nigeria. Yes. And I literally grew up in Long Beach. Wow. I've been in Long Beach since mm. I was five years old. Mm. And I've always enjoyed entertainment. But um, I had to go a different way first. That's <laughs> all right. That's all right. That's part of the grind. That's wow. part of the grind. Wow. You know, because um, you do modeling as well. Yeah. I discovered modeling when I was in college, and I saw a flyer at the bus stop about plus size modeling. And I was thinking, what? Mm -hmm. Big girls get to model? <laughs> I went there right away, and so they taught us how to put on makeup that I still don't know how to do yet. I can't tell. And um, teach us how to walk mm. and uh, get in contact with other designers yes. that design clothes for plus size women because mm. we're just tired of wearing drapes. Yes. And like we don't have the right to be sexy. Well, you are <laughs> so, so beautiful, and you always just bring it. Look at you, you're so beautiful. I always thank tell you, you so that. Much. But it's true. Yeah, yeah. And you just yeah. love. So that was my thing to help me with my, with um, having security, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, and after that, I said, you know what, I want to try acting and other things, singing, whatever. I just yeah. want to get in there and do it. Yeah, because you also done some poetry and different things too in a yeah. book. I discovered poetry when I was at uh, Compton College. Yeah. And I was looking for any class to take, and I just took that class, and then I discovered, oh, I can write a little bit. This is great. So that was good. So how is the acting thing? Now, a lot of actors, because I, I want to share something with um, the actors a little bit later, but I know we always, we, we have our agents and our managers, they're doing things, but a lot of times you can't just wait for your agent, especially now on your managers no. to do stuff. No. And on this grind, it's something you do all the time. Yeah, and you have to stay on your grind. Wow. You cannot let it go. You can't wait for somebody else to do it for mm -hmm. you. I would be up late at night submitting on LA Casting all the time. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, back in the day I had an old school way of when I submit my pictures mm -hmm. out, I would figure out which show do I want to be on. Yeah. I'll find out who's casting. Nice. Then I would mail my picture to them. But then I thought, if I was an agent and I'm receiving hundreds and hundreds, it's like it gets boring. Yeah. So I decided to submit my pictures in a clear envelope. Oh, excuse so me. So you're going to have to see my face <laughs> when it comes in the mail. And you yeah. have to open it and look at my resume wow. and give me a call if you want to use me. Nice. You have to keep doing that. you got to keep staying on the grind. Wow. Because, I mean, it's just too many people are trying to get in the business. So you got to stand out and be different. So that's what I did, the clear envelope. The clear envelope, <laughs> and what do you do now? Now I work. You work? Because, because you have to get your nine to five. For me, yep. I had to get a nine to five to support the dream. Okay. You just can't be out there 
Like, I want to be an actress. You don't have any money because you got to pay for gas for your car. You got to pay for pictures, makeup, yeah. all the things that you need to yeah. buy to support your dream. Yeah. You have to have a job to support that. Yeah. Or you're going to sit there and struggle and be a starving actor. Yeah. So I said, I couldn't do it. Wow, wow. So I went and got a job, mm -hmm. which is what my career, I'm a nurse mm -hmm. on LVN. Wow, okay. And so that funds what I do. So now mm -hmm. I can relax because I know no matter what, Mm. I'm going to eat. Okay. <laughs> hey. And that's the important thing. I need to eat. That's right. I can't be out here starving trying to be an actor. I need to eat. That's right. So now uh, things are so much better. So and now I'm having a good time doing music videos, trying out for different things, and I'm secure that, okay, I'm going to eat. So your manager helps you out, mm -hmm. your agent helps you out, and I've noticed that I've seen you actually doing it. I said, what are you doing? You said you're submitting. Yeah. You do self-submitting and stuff I'll get like off work. When I get home before I go to bed, I do submitting. Wake up in the morning, do submitting. And wow. Just, keep, just keep, keep going. That's right. Because there are times where I've missed out on stuff mm. because I didn't stay on top of it. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh, I could have been in a music video with Jill Scott. Yeah. By the time I got to it, it's two days late. Wow. And I was like, oh. Yeah. So then I said, no, 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 I got to stay on the ground. I got to stay on the ground. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. So you're not just waiting for a manager and agent to do it. No, all you... of it. Wow. And everybody needs to con contribute. Everybody's know? contributing, so you just don't put it The way there. we support each other is like, if I know something that fits you, I'll call you up, hey, you know, they're auditioning for yes. this. This is perfect for you. Come on, come on. So we're all contributing to, I like to the dream. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Now, recently... Um, you got your SAG card. <laughs> now, a lot of actors, you know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna get my SAG card, oh, they get a little down. What, what yeah. was it like? What was that process? And what did you feel when you the actually got it? It was long because I didn't pay attention. Mm. Because I was taff heart, taff heartedly, mm -hmm. um, when I did Fat Girls. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even understand what that meant. All I knew was that, oh, you can join SAG now instead of waiting for your uh, three, what is it? The, you have to get like three vouchers. Yes, okay. And when they said you're TAF, you could just go straight in, just pay. Mm. And they said it's 1500 At that time, I'm like, 1500 I'm working security. I don't have $1,500. <laughs> And for years, I just let it slide by until yeah. I realized, oh my God, I should have joined back then. So now I finally joined last year, and it's three thousand to wow. join. Wow. Okay, it's not so. So see, see the lesson I learned. Oh wow. So people, yeah, she, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, was, so, so, how was the part? You just did you just pay it up? You know, how did that? Well, what I did was I was like three thousand dollars. I just went ahead and put a thousand down, and then I made payments. Oh, they for had. The next few, yeah, now yeah, they, I don't think they had payment plans back then anyway. Okay. But they had that now, and something like that's perfect for me. So I was able to pay it off in like eight months, and and now I have a sag. Oh, card. look at Finally. you! So you I mean, sag what I went through. The <laughs> I'm in the union. <laughs> She's in the I'm union. I'm in the union. <laughs> so you mentioned Fat Girls. What is it about the Fat Girls? Like there was uh, wasn't there the film with Monique? Oh my God! The way I got that audition was, I was on my grind, mm -hmm. and I was going around Lancashire and passing out my resume and yeah. my eight by ten, and I uh, stumbled upon this uh, Char's office, and I gave her my resume, and then like a month later, she called me and said. There's this perfect role for you. They need someone that knows how to do a Nigerian accent. Mm. And uh, when they, when it came in, she didn't even know where she put the picture. What? So let her tell the story. <laughs> she was frantically looking for my headshot. <laughs> okay. Because like I said, there's so many headshots to look through. You have to stand out somehow. So I went to that audition. Mm, mm, mm. I did the accent. They loved it. I started off doing the... Um, I was the greeter. Yeah. So there's a greeter to the party in the movie. Mm -hmm. Monique is at the African party. Mm -hmm. And her part was, welcome, my brothers and sisters. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going to have to fatten you up. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. So then my second audition was for the producers, and there was way more people in there. And I was so nervous and scared. Oh, my goodness. And then after that audition, they said, do you speak a second language? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I speak Yoruba. And then months and months later, they changed my part from being the greeter 
to sitting at the dining table nice. with Godfrey, Monique, and the other cast, and I'm speaking Yoruba. And I was, it was so crazy because I'm like, you know, my the language is really rusty for me. So I had to call my cousin and say, help me. I don't want to embarrass the Nigerian community. They will get in my ass if I don't do this right. So I worked on it and worked on it, and that was my first speaking role yeah. in my parents' native language. What? So special. Wow. I'll never forget. Oh, never what did your parents that. think about with this song? They, they were excited. They said, you finally did something <laughs> that we can be proud of. Because, and they said that because when I was in college acting a fool, mm -hmm. I went on the Jenny Jones show, yeah. holding up my panties like this and talking about big girls and this and that, and they were so embarrassed. And I was like, <laughs> I'm, to me, I'm having fun. I'm in college. That's this right. is what I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to do a movie yeah, yeah. and then speak the language, nice. they love this. Nice. Okay. And your mom, I'm sure she has the, the, the accent and no, stuff. Because yeah. you... it's something that I hear every day. Wow. But sometimes it's not going to sound right because I was born here. Yeah. It's a mixture of American accent and yeah. Europe, so they make fun of you. Wow. So, you know. That's so awesome. It was very Awesome. <laughs> so we got a lot of people, a lot of actors and models, you know, plus size models and stuff. What would you tell them? Because sometimes people can get so discouraged in this business and um, and um, they just think, oh, just I'll pack up my bags. Because they come from all over. Some of them are born here. Um, and um, what would you just, you know, tell them in the camera um, to be encouraged on a journey? Well, stay on the grind. But also, you have to do your research. Mm. You know, if you want to model, let's say you want to model for Lane Bryant, find out who's casting for that place. And when you research who's doing what, who's the casting, then you send your information to them. And that's, that's part of it. All right, all right. Did you have a day that you just thought, I might give up and I don't want to do this either? I have days where I get tired. Mm -hmm. It can be exhausting. And then after you finish being exhausted and crying and having a pity party, get back on it. Yeah. Get yeah. back on the grind. Send your stuff. Keep sending it out. Sending it out. Sending it out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I Keep love going. it. Keep going. And Stella, I just got to say this because, you know, your whole family's always been so supportive and sometimes they didn't necessarily know they were being supportive. Because when I had been evicted <laughs> and I didn't have a place to get ready to sleep in my car, and you said, oh, no, 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 you could, no, no, no. And you actually hid me in, in the bedroom, in, in your bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom. It was a, you had, you know, extra bedroom. And um, I, I would see your father, you know, out there working in the yard, and he didn't know that I was there. Mm -hmm. And just your heart, you know, for you to, because you, you guys got to realize, people think this is just going to happen overnight. You're pursuing your dreams. You really, really want this. And then, you know, you look up and you're being evicted. And then there are people that just say, you know, they, they love you. They see what you're doing and they just take me in. Because I don't, I don't know what your father would have said. <gasps> you guys, you know, you know. I would have uh, tried to explain it, but... Uh-uh, I, uh, I stand on what I believe in. I'm like, I'm not gonna let any of my friends sleep wow. in their car when I have an extra room. Cause I wow. used to be a foster parent. Wow. So the house is set up for me to have four foster children, yeah. but I didn't have any kids at the time. And so this space is here. I'm having this space here and there's a friend sleeping in the car. Hell no, <laughs> it's not what we do. Wow. So uh, it was funny to, to have you stay <laughs> there, taking the train wow. to LA to do auditions to come back and have somewhere to sleep, yeah. See, the thing is, you a lot of times in this business, you get, you know, you get so many different people, they don't understand us mm -hmm. in this in this business. That's, yeah, that's what it and was. And then uh -huh. when you actually get kicked out, but then there's, friends that actually reach down and help you that means so much more you have no idea what that meant mm -hmm. and it's uh, also it's part of the grind too yeah we have to it's a small community we yeah. have to help each other that's right you know not just i'm going on auditions if i see something for a friend wow. then i should call you and say wow. hey I saw this, this works for you why don't you try this out yeah, yeah. we have to support each other yeah. you're doing a play i'm doing a play we gotta call our friends yeah. and say, hey, come out and support. Yeah. Just being there. Support also means buying a ticket. Support is not, I'm gonna be there, 
But can you hook me up with wow. a ticket? Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me in backstage yeah, yeah, yeah. for free. No, that's not support. Support yeah. is taking money out your pocket and buying a ticket. I'm going to support you in this, but whatever you're doing, I don't care if it's two lines. We have to support each other. Wow. You've just been, <laughs> you've been an incredible friend just supporting me and even coming out and kicking in and everything. And I just want to say thank you for kicking it with me. It was a pleasure to kick it with you. Yay! <laughs> Stella doing me.